I usually do like 4x and uh, some people would say that's a bit much but for me I think it's perfect so volleyball on the pan next magic sauce this Basque sauce just a little bit of that and then we are good to go And voila, we have a perfect cup of coffee. Alright, so we are on the way to get some juice. Yeah. For, uh, for lunch. Uh, might get a sandwich as well. What yeah. about you? Yeah, might, might too. Get the, to get the tuna sandwich. Yeah. We gotta get that. With the, the carrot, um, carrot juice. My mom is actually right there. Oh, your mom's there? Yeah. <laughs> so just uh, we just met uh, randomly uh, Mass's mom yeah. at the street, so we have to pull over. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get some uh, juice and uh, just uh, chill. You know, we've been we've been working on the uh, spring uh, 22 right collection, yeah. and we might go to Italy very soon. Um, to visit the factory and uh, to showcase the designs that we've been working on and still working on. So, but uh, what do you think is like the uh, go-to fits for the for the upcoming season, mm. like the fall? Because the fall is coming now, you know? yeah. almost winter here. Yeah. So one of my go-to is always have like a basic puffer jacket. Basic like, puffer jacket. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of tones and colors, I'm mostly into like earthy tones, mm. but, but that's all year round. Um, yeah, 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 me too. Me too. I like, as, uh, yeah, I'm always using denims and um, maybe like car carpenters, mm. uh, and then always have like a lot of layers uh, yeah. underneath. Mm. Um, always more easy to dress. Uh, for the, uh, for the fall uh, season, yeah, in my opinion, yeah, you know, it's easier to like to get like that fire fit going on. Yeah, right? because then you can have like only two layers, and yeah. you can go with a with a hoodie only mm. or a t-shirt sometimes. Agree, agree. With, you're like really hidden away in the winter clothes. Exactly. I hate. I actually hate like in terms of uh, clothing. I yeah. hate winter, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like it's, you have so much clothes on, and it's like it's always so boring. And I think everyone it's, has like the same clothes. On. Everyone has like these long yeah. uh, puffer jackets in their pack. Yeah, but well, still, yeah. In general, like the, the style in Copenhagen during winter is like just hiding away. Also, like I'm. I mean, obviously, it's more fun to see uh, and more interesting. Uh, during the summer for like girls as well, yeah. how they dress, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? The summer dresses, right? I mean, they always go from a, for, from a 7 out of 10 to 8 out of 10. Exactly, exactly, so they like... Also with the sunglasses, then they can hide their other exactly. faces. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, please. <laughs> but I mean, in terms of my fit and your fit, I think for winter is maybe better, but in terms of like people around you, girls, Etc. Yeah. It's it's boring. It's always more interesting yeah. during the summer. Yeah. You know, like the the, the short skirts and the, that that's that's always interesting to see. You know? yeah. What you've been hiding for all winter, and yeah. it's, the winter is long here. You know, yeah. in the in Denmark, Copenhagen, cold. Really yeah, cold. it's very cold. It's very cold. Snow and shit. You know, minus. Uh, I like as well earth tones um, and like the one I'm wearing right now from last season Ophals uh, the mountain uh, uh, Sherpa zip jacket uh, this one I'm gonna wear a lot for this season right now because it's not too cold but it's not too warm so it's perfect for like uh, like a transition jacket kind of thing and then I'm gonna wear more heavy jacket um, the Berlin Saga have showed the their show here. Yeah. yeah. Do you think everyone's gonna wear like these oversized fits, or do you think it's gonna go back to the to the oversized, or 
or more filled as it is now. I think it's gonna be not like like Berlin Schager, but it's of course it's gonna be a bit more boxy, a bit more oversized in, in general um, in terms of fit. You know. Have you seen the Yeezy Cap hoodie? Yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think the fit looks fine. Yeah, the fit is fine. Okay. Uh, and then it's $90. $90. It's, it's reasonable think, for like 300 Oh shit. But I think they're gonna release in Germany soon. Don't you think? Yeah. I hope so. I want one. I like the black one. Yeah, yeah the black one is fine. Also the brown one is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we're here. Let's go get that juice. Yeah. We got the carrot juice and we got the, oh, what did you get? Like green juice, right? Yeah. First. All right, so uh, a lot of you have been asking uh, for some kind of like video showcasing some Levi's denim vintage, explaining a little bit about like different kind of uh, numbers and uh, tabs and uh, things like that. So. Uh, Mess and I have combined some of our uh, Levi's denim uh, vintage here at the rack and then we want to show you guys each of them and just explain like the washers and see like the patina like the effect of being worn out and and just like the history uh, and the year they were made um, so and the fits and the fits, right? S yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna include that too. Very important, actually. So if we start with this pair, orange tab. So kind of subtle in the watch, right? Yeah. They are like five seventeen. So that means they are before the eighties, right? Yeah. Your legs a little bit flared, and I feel like that is kind of seventies, right? Yeah. So these are very, very clean, I would say. Yeah. Very clean. Not, not too much going on, very great fit. Yeah. Um, then you got the big bars here. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, obviously a massive pair. So, uh, comb hearts, not, not much to say about that. Also 517, right? Yeah. Uh, orange tab. So the denim is actually before the 80s as well. Then we have um, then we have these five seventeen as well. Yeah, more more straight. More straight, right? Yeah. And I like the uh, like you see here, so like the stressing on the edges is very nice. I think. Yeah. I also like the the stressing at the bottom. Let's see. Let's see. You can see like. Has been worn out. I think these are very, these are a little bit more um, like worn out than the pair before. Yeah. The chrome hats. So these are personally I like these better because it's a little bit more. Yeah. They're more soft as well, right? More soft, because yeah, they feels better. Yeah. But in terms of fit, which one would you prefer? Actually, the the chrome hats because of it has I like the 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 flared. A little bit flared. Yeah. Right? But subtle, right? So it's only I like a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so then we have um, another pair here. Also got like the distracting edge up here. It's very nice. Yeah. I like this detail a lot. The distressing on the pocket yeah, I love this. Could, could be repaired. Yeah. Um, distressing down here. A little more like a, a, a wider wash. Hmm. I would say it's a wide wash, right? And these are 505, right? 505, yes. But generally, very good pair. Yeah. I would say all of these pairs are pretty created, right? Yeah. And uh, some good, like, good selection. Yeah. Um, then we have the Gray, chrome hot denim nice. with all the uh, you know the hardware and obviously 
Yeah. So not not much to say about these. These are a little bit snug in the uh, in the leg, right? Yeah. This is your pair. These are five or ones. Five or ones, but I think personally, I think they're a little bit too uh, too snug. Too snug. Yeah. But they could just just a tiny bit, right? Yeah, yeah. One centimeter, something. Yeah. yeah. This is probably my favorite pair. Yeah, I like because, these as well. Uh, I like the wash a lot. So the wash is perfect, in my opinion. Uh, color thing is very great. Maybe um, this could be repaired. So It's nice it, for the summer. It's nice for the summer. Yeah. And it feels very nice. Yeah. It's very great. Also, 517 orange tab. Probably like... 70s, yeah. like you said. Right. Then we have these, maybe this is like kind of the same one. Right? Yeah. These are 505, right? Yes. Yeah. Five. So, what's the difference about? So these uh, and the 505 and 517. Uh, so the 517 usually has a bit of flare. Oh yeah, that's right. And the 505 has is more straight. That's why it's probably from the 70s 517 usually, right? Yeah, probably. Don't you think? Maybe. Because that was more like the vibe back then. So guys, we have pretty much every denim in the fucking Copenhagen here. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And this is not a stall, just want to point out. Then we have actually a pair of uh, red tabs yeah. here, like Ollie uh, wash. Yeah, nice. Kind of nice uh, wash. With the repairing out, what? Yes, we've got a little bit of repair here. Nice. But it's, it's coming you need, up. You need to get it repaired So again. I need to... Yeah. Actually in New York you have these... Um, in Copenhagen you don't have. But in New York... Uh, I know they have this like kind of repair... Denim repair shops. Where you can go and they repair your denim. That's super sick I think. Nice. It's such a nice concept you know. Yeah. And they, they have different kinds of techniques of like... Doing your repair. So if you want like... A layering underneath, uh, you can get that if you want, like, um, just like, just you know, like closed a hole or something like that. You can get that, you can get different kind of like looks mm. in terms of repairs. So that's very sick, I think. Mm. Then we have the only no, we got another one, we got two black pairs, two black pairs just to switch it up a little bit. Uh, so 517 uh, orange tabs as well. Try to go a bit back. These, the fit on these are very great. Right? Yeah. Especially on you. I think fits you perfectly. Yeah. Nice. Actually, I think some some uh, some dude asked for these in the video. Yeah. Because he was wearing these uh, in like two videos ago, I think. A good trick you can do if you get like a pair of denim and it's a little bit too um, short, mm. you can always like release the hair, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's super easy, right? Yeah, it's really easy. Everyone can do it. So then you get like two, three centimeters more. Yeah. To uh, to have. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So then we have these. This is the pair you got actually. Mm. Um, when we was filming the last time, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you got like... I think the wash and these are very, very nice. Yeah. But these are pretty... It's pretty tight, right? Yeah, they were, tight, they were too uh, snug, but I actually released it. It's like a, like a slip, right? Yeah. That's nice. It's cool. Also, these are 505 actually, that's why yeah. it's more straight, like yeah. straight fit, and then yeah. it's like, 
I don't know, a small size maybe. Yeah. All right, so we switch this over a little bit yeah. and the mess is gonna explain. So these are the 501s. Um, so 501s is a bit more uh, straight as the 505 actually. Mm -hmm. um, in the, nowadays when they made 501, it's more like uh, tailored in. Mm -hmm. But now, but that uh, like uh, 10 years ago or, or in the past times, was more like a straight paint, as you see. What? So I think 501s mm. is always red, red tab. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they come in orange no, tab, actually. They don't, they don't. Um, yeah. But you also Perfect. got you got the whole set. <laughs> always happens to me. It, I don't know why, you, you actually. You need the space. It's because <laughs> I need the space, you know? <laughs> Let's put them here. Yeah. I guess a little bit of denim here. So these are actually 517 teens, um, orange tab as well. I got these, uh, but they were a bit too short, so I released the hem as well. So these are like really flared. These are my most flared hair, yeah. actually. These are kind of, people have asked me if, if this was gallery depth actually, mm. because they're so, so flared. Mm. So actually one trick you can do, if you want to see the age, um, on the Levi's teams, you can see there's a, a number at the bottom. Mm. Uh, so if you look that up on the internet, I'm not like a pro on this, yeah. but if you look it up, you can actually see you which can see year the actual year is right? from. Yeah. Um, maybe there is like a time gap between five years, but you mm. can kind of see it. Yeah. Kind of like with the Nikes, uh, you can like look at the, the size tab and you can see like the date when it was like released and everything. Yeah. They have that. This is more like a code, you know, you have to to look up, but uh, you have the info, you can look it up. So yeah. whatever, you know. So right. these are some 505. Uh, I actually think these are tailored in because you can see they're getting a bit snug down here. Yeah. So actually, a lot of 505s are sewn in because there was mm. just a time where people didn't want straight paint and the 505 are just only straight. Can I so see it back? So I love like this vintage look. There's, there's like a history mm. to every pair. Yeah. Um, people have worked in all these. So I just... Like a white wash. Yeah. Yeah, really bright wash, I think mm. it could be nice with a white tee. Mm, yeah. Exactly. Good for the summer, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You have the painters. Painters, yeah. I love these with the paint. Yeah. So do you think this is actually paint? Yes, like, uh, it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. I showcased these in the, uh, like some videos ago. Yeah. Um, so I think this pair is actually, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like an actual painter who has been uh, wearing these while painting yeah. before and then he, he, you know, I don't know, threw them out and then they became uh, available in a vintage store. So these are they these must be 501s. Yeah. You, yes. prefer, you prefer the 501s, right? Mm, I'm not know? sure. Yeah. Uh, these are pretty straight fit. There's no flare in these. Yeah. But what I like about these, I think, I don't know how they did it, but it's like like a twisted leg detail kind yeah. of thing. So this like seam is, is like on the it's front. Visible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. That's it's good nice. detail that. Yeah. Also, just use how, how do you manage to get like this cut and this? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. No. Exactly. But yeah, that, that, that's the nice thing about it. Exactly. The, the history. The history and like the, the, the natural kind of um, distressing is always like unbeatable. Yeah. Um, in my opinion. Then we have. I should cut these in Copenhagen. Oh yeah, you did in the uh, the last video. These are pretty new, I think. Yeah, these are nice. They're a bit short. Yeah, a bit short. I should release the hand on these. Yeah, should. Sure. Can you They're see? Nice. Can you see what the? I'm, I can't see, but no. 
they must be five for ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Too. Because the, they're straight. What year do you think he's from? It's hard to tell. But maybe the... It could be the late 80s or the yeah. start 90s. Yeah. Did you just say? Yeah. So actually, these are a pair I've made in my school. They're made from um, two old Levi's pants. Uh, so I asked the store uh, which pairs do you have that has never been sold. Yeah. So they, they told me I got these two pairs and they have been here for the, for the two years. And I was like, <laughs> I need to do something about it. Yeah. Uh, and I made a pair that, that you actually want to wear. So these are like real flared. Uh, I made it for a 70 project at my okay. school. That's sick. Um, so I actually... see the pocket? I think it's pretty sick. I actually made like this hard pocket. Hard on hand, right? Yeah. That's funny. And these are like... These I actually wear a lot uh, with my uh, suit. Uh, just with a blazer or something. Yeah. Because they're, they're pretty clean, just... Uh, 505 orange tabs. Mm. Um, these are Sorry. actually really old, but I was the first one yeah. to wear them. So these I have made like all of this distressing by myself, but it's, okay, nice. it's not a lot. But yeah, are these long? These are actually yeah, they a bit, a bit. You can see. Nice. Yeah. Sick. Good pair. Good yeah. like general pair. Really good, and it's really you rare. You can always to... you can always throw these on, you know. Yeah, and it's really yeah. rare to find like these five hundred five and five seventeens, mm. which is my favorite pairs. Yeah, my favorite pairs is pairs are actually five seventeen. Okay. Because yeah, just the fit is just amazing. Mm. These are also uh, vintage Levi's, and I think this is these are one of my favorites. They just fit like perfect for yeah, now. It's a really good fit. So it's actually really hard to find black yeah. pairs in. And orange types mm. is almost impossible. That's sick. Um, so I'm really happy for these actually. Yeah. That's and it for now. A little bit, a little bit pairs of of uh, Levi's still, yeah. right? So. <laughs> Cooking up some uh, pasta pomodoro with my good friend Mess, also called Mess. Uh, then we have uh, a little burrata and some. Salshiga, I think it's called. Sausage. Gotta mix that up here and uh, make a nice dinner. So, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Added this super nice uh, olive oil uh, on the burrata and then a little bit in the pomodoro and we added the sausage here. It's just gonna sit for like, I don't know, how many minutes? A few minutes, just a few minutes, and then uh, I think we'll be good. And then we're gonna put this on top of that and some basilicum uh, here, and then we're gonna be good. And now the final ingredients pasta. Uh, this is like a pamatel, so it's a bit thicker, right? The thicker uh, pasta, spaghetti, right? Two. Okay, final touch. Mess is pouring it up. Get the original technique here. <laughs> <laughs> Parmesan and then the final touch on top of it.